Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys loot from 1000 Duke Sakellis, starting at 103 KC, ending at 1103 KC. The main goal for this video is to obtain the pet. It is by far my new favorite pet in this game and hopefully while we go for the pet in these 1000 kills, I'll also make as much profit as possible. We're going to be doing all the clue scrolls as well, saving the caskets for the end so with all that being said let's go ahead and get started and there we have our first chromium drop about three kills into the video that's one in 240 so i figure i'll show you guys a sped up kill here i start with two bandos god sword special attacks and i also summon my thrall at the same time and then i switch over to my soul reaper axe and usually every third or fourth hit i'll use the special attack from that to get some hp back as i'm running from the gas flares i try to get one last hit in and then i avoid the gas flares don't take any damage from them and then after a while he will unleash the freezing gaze which you just can't be seen you have to be hiding at that certain time uh, which is pretty easy to manage you can also sneak in a hit there and that's about it I mean it gets really repetitive to do the same exact thing every single kill just to avoid those attacks and if you misclick you know it will impact your loot that 30 runite ore could have been double the amount had I had a perfect kill and taken no damage so it is important not to mess up here but I just want to say it took me a very long time to get the hang of it. You know, when I did the Whisperer, I felt like after the third kill, I had mastered it, but here, I have actually died 107 times throughout the making of this video. There's a nice little Ice Quartz drop there, but uh, yeah, the reason I share that information that I died so much is that if you're actually struggling here and you're getting very demotivated, just understand that I died 100 times, so I completely can relate to the struggle, but don't give up because this thing, according to the wiki, is over 6 million GP an hour. Hopefully, we can prove that today with some incredible drops and just on the normal drop table you're seeing some pretty nice loot i mean we have dragon arrow tips a lot of noted coal that you can get here as well as every tier clue scroll not to mention all the dragon plate legs and awakener orbs and that's just on the normal drop table so hopefully we hit the rare drop table a lot during this video there we have another chromium drop one in 240 and following that yet again another ice quartz which is one in 215 so yeah i'll take it it's nice to have those stack in the bank what I really want to see though is that pet one in 2500 so let's hope we get him that thing I see him flopping around everywhere in the grand exchange and I just I've never wanted a pet more even more than I want the armadil pet but anyway I completed a master clue on the side got 270k uh, I already had it kind of in Watson so I figured I'd just do it real quick nice arrow tip drop there and following that something that's one in 100 seven unnoted dragon plate legs you can either get five or seven I think if you have a better kill then you obviously would get seven and that's the same rarity as receiving uh the same amount of bronze mithril and adamant chain bodies so yeah it's much much better to get the dragon plate legs compared to those items following that we did get our first awakener's orb and 1000 soul runes which means i got a perfect kill so yeah very proud of that 666 there means i made a mistake or two just about 150 kills into the video so far and we do have our very first elite clue scroll which is actually the same odds as receiving any other tier clue here which is 1 in 160 but I always like to show the elites just because you know it's a little more special than getting say an easy clue so yeah I won't be showing any of those but I will be saving all the caskets towards the end and here we are on a good streak of awakener orbs these were actually 2.1 mil when I started the recording of this video and now they are down to 1.5 mil so yeah don't take too long of these desert treasure 2 bosses because prices do fluctuate even on the top tier items well we are 200 kills into the video so far and after a lot of deaths I did have to recharge that ring of shadows so 1000 charges should last me probably until the next desert treasure 2 boss video slowly but surely getting the hang of this boss and we are rewarded for our hard efforts Virtus robe top our first drop of the video and is a Virtus piece that I am missing 67 mil Virtus just stands out for so many different reasons but seeing it on the ground compared to other rares in this game I don't know it's just extra special no doubt about it one and 2160 in order to get that as a drop here and that you know if you look at the mask being a chance the bottom being a chance as well uh we got the highest priced vertus item i think the mask is five mil and the robe bottom is 30 mil so yeah 67 mil to the price check just uh that quick not even 300 kills in a couple awakener orbs here and there some dragon plate legs some rune ore on top i mean no matter what you are going to be making some good money at this boss so don't get demotivated stay 
positive and good things will come. Uh, you know, this was a huge grind for me. Honestly, it took me all month, which is why this video is being uploaded the last day of the month, because, uh, yeah, I just could not wrap my head around this boss. I, st I found it very hard to do 100 kills a day. That's why I would kind of end it around 50 or 60. Yeah, it sounds crazy, you know, but I guess certain monsters, certain grinds in this game are just harder than others, uh, especially for me personally. I think the hardest thing was just the preparation that you have to do before you actually start the fight here. I really did not enjoy misclicking and taking damage early on before I even got to the fight and, uh, you know, mixing the potions together. It's just not my cup of tea. But hey, everyone's different, and I'm just glad that I got it accomplished. So with that being said, here's another drop, some ice quartz. Uh, we are, you know, banking that. That's my fourth one. We also have the Eye of the Duke, which I forgot to mention in the beginning. We did get that during Loot from 100, right when this boss came out. So we already have the axe piece from him, but we can get another. So, I mean, I don't really want another, but I mean, I'm not going to say no. And as I hit 400 kills into the grind, we interrupt this to bring you guys an update from my 17 HP account. I infiltrated a drop party earlier this week, and I got two abyssal whips and an amulet of torture. So, yeah, free 12 mil. You know, I tried to do 10 hours of the Falador party room once, but all I found in 10 hours was a bunch of weed and a bunch of wine and nothing else. So, it didn't work out. Anyway, I also got the fishing pet on this account earlier this week. I think I caught 500 lobsters for that, but after that, I went ahead and caught 13,000 more, and then I caught 8,500 raw sharks, grew a lot of cats, and that's the update on the 17 HP -er. And there's Gnome Child. All right, moving on back to Duke Sakellis. Five dragon plate legs. Uh, lovely to see that. I just love the drops here. Some of them are pretty weird, though. There's no doubt about it. And of course, there are rare items, too, such as the Virtus Robe Bottom, our second Virtus drop of the video. It's not the pet, but I feel like it's one step closer. I unfortunately already had this from the Whisperer, so it is a duplicate on the collection log, but I will happily take it. It's better than the mask. I do need the mask for the collection log, but it's only 5 mil compared to that, you know, 37 mil. It's a big difference in price. And speaking of difference in price, here we have quite a big one. The Magus Vestige Drop. This is actually used to make the Magus Ring, and it is best in slot magic ring. Current price, 70 million GP. That is over double what the Virtus Row Bottom is. This is a 1 in 720 drop rate, and it is my first ever time getting a ring from the Duke, so I was just thrilled at this point. There wasn't too much of a live reaction. I was pretty tired at this uh, current point in time, but I do remember it, and it was awesome. And there's a lovely 7 unnoted Dragon Plate Leg drop. I would prefer if they were noted, but I'm not going to complain. was really enjoying this boss at this point. Uh, we did hit 147 million Strength XP, and yeah, the Soul Reaper Axe was a lot of fun to use here. I really enjoy the healing mechanic from it, and uh, the price has been pretty stable. I think I've only lost like 15 mil on it since I purchased it, and I would like to create my own one day, but uh, it's yet to happen, so we still have to go kill a thousand Vardorvis and a thousand Leviathan. Well, there's finally a new personal best of one minute and 57 seconds. I think my last one was two minutes and six seconds or a little bit more than that, but either way, it's below two minutes. It's somewhat of an accomplishment. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at 500 kills into the video. Now, I know technically it would have to be 603 KC for it to be 500 kills in, but in my opinion, it just looks better if it ends in zero. So that's why I decided to record at that kill instead of the uh, actual one. But yeah, one minute and 57 seconds again, so we matched our personal best. And similar to the Magus drop, this is also 1 in 720, none other than the Eye of the Duke. This is my second one, which means that if I get two more axe pieces from every single other Desert Treasure 2 boss, I'll have two Soul Reaper axes. That's a quick and easy 500 mil. Well, probably not quick and definitely not easy, but one day I'd like to think I'll get it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and bank that Eye of the Duke. The bank tab is looking beautiful. I absolutely love the drops here. I don't know how many times I've said that, but uh, yeah, I mean, I never never ceases to amaze me the creativity that goes uh, on these drop tables. Even if it's bad or good, it all really adds up in the end. And there we are, 600 kills into the video, 400 left to go. Look at that price of the Awakener orb from 2.1 mil to 1.4 mil, all in under three weeks' time. But 
On the upside, there's another Ice Quartz. Hopefully the Awakener Orb stabilizes soon, but I really just uh, expect it to keep going down, just slowly but surely going down, which I guess helps people out for uh, those who are going for the, uh, you know, the exciting kills, the more challenging kills using that orb here. Either way, though, I got a lot done on the Iron Man account. You guys should be seeing episode number three of the Iron Man series, uh, hopefully within the next week or so. And that's 700 kills in, 300 left to go. Did a lot of quests and uh, did a lot of good beneficial AFKing while doing this Duke video and same goes for fishing all those sharks on my 17 H pier and doing a little bit of nightmare zone on my 20 defense pier so yeah it's a lot of fun to have multiple accounts going at the same time and uh, especially if those are making some profit for you you know pay for those bond prices can't believe bonds are 10 mil right now you know you pay 9 mil for the bond and then you got to pay another 900 K just to convert the bonds so it's painful but uh, that's why we're doing Duke Sakella 6 mil an hour according to the wiki it's hard to say how many kills I've done in uh, one hour time. You know, I'm just going to round up and say probably 20 to 25 kills an hour if you're, you know, doing it the right way, not banking every kill like I was for a while. Nowadays, I get about four to five kill trips and I'm happy with that. Using the light bearer in between kills definitely uh, makes it a lot more bearable than teleporting out after every kill rather to get special attack back. And 800 kills into the video so far. One kill after that, we received an awakener orb and about 18 kills after that, we got some seven dragon plate legs. Seems like I'm getting the average kill time of about two minutes and 20 seconds to two minutes and 40 seconds. Got a nice another chromium drop. Haven't seen that since the very beginning of the video, so I'll take it. And following the chromium, a lovely 12 minute kill. The Magus Vestige yet again towards the end. That is incredible. I will happily take it. It's not the pet, but the profit is pure and it's pure gold because we're going to make that into a ring. 2,500 crafting experience experience and another 70 million GP to the price check. It looks like that ring was pretty stable this whole month. Uh, the Virtus definitely went down a few mil per piece, but the ring seems to be steady around 68 to 70 mil, so I will happily take it. So let me know how you guys have been enjoying the Desert Treasure 2 bosses so far. Are you going for the pet? Are you dry of something you need? Or, or like me, have you just been getting a little bit of everything, you know, making all sorts of money here? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about some good luck and some bad luck too because you know who doesn't want to hear about that and i do read every comment so keep that in mind but either way more ice courts coming in some more other drops that aren't the pet that i really just want the pet i mean i appreciate all this profit don't get me wrong but i had some money in the bank before this you know what i didn't have i didn't have the duke sakellis pet 900 kills into the video still petless. But well, that's all right, because we got another drop. Virtus row bottom number two, 35.1 mil, right towards the end there, seven minute kill. If you know, if you're curious why the fight duration is so long, uh, you know, sometimes I just like to do a little mining and relax. Don't you judge me. All right, less than 100 kills to go. There is an Awakener's Orb, 1.6 mil. All right, so it went from 1.4 back to 1.6. Not too bad. Chaos Runes looking at 47 GP each. And with all this coal into the game, I can definitely understand the, the coal going down in price as well. But I'm never going to complain about getting a coal drop again because, ladies and gentlemen, alongside the coal, we got the pet. Yeah, that's right. Junior Sakellis on the ground there, flipping and flopping all over the place. I mean, this is incredible. L less than 100 kills to go, and we actually pulled it off. I mean, this is huge. This is one of those moments that I did not expect to get a pet in. We already got the Whisperer pet. I mean, we're on a pet streak right now on this account, but this by far beats all the rest. I mean, for the longest time, I wanted an Armadil pet. I don't even care about the Armadil pet anymore. Look at this thing. I mean, it's just, just absolutely incredible. He has great dialogue, great features, and I bow to him. So yeah, huge, huge moment for me. I mean, look at this bank tab, man. We got every single drop you can get from this boss. We almost got two of every drop you can get from this boss. It's just absolutely insane. One of my longest grinds to date, one of the most repetitive grinds to date, and something that I wasn't so positive about in the beginning turned out to be nothing short of miraculous at the end. So with that being said, don't 
don't get demotivated. Stay positive and good things will come. And I, I mean, what, what better proof than the loot from this video? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's, it's absolutely incredible. Big smile on my face. And with that being said, we are going to wrap it up here. We are almost at the goal of 1,103 KC for a grand total of 1,000 kills in this video. And I got to say, it was quite the journey and it's not over yet. Two kills remain as I slowly but surely pick up all this pineapple pizza. No, I didn't eat any of it. Saved it all because it's a drop. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to wrap this up with a beautiful big red bow, Virtus Mask coming in. They just wanted to finish off that collection log. We have now completed the Duke Sakellis collection log, the Whisperer collection log, and ladies and gentlemen, we have completed loot from 1,000 Duke Sakellis. Oh man, what a journey. Let's give it a little bit of a dance. Round of applause if we can. Now we don't have that feature here anyway let's go ahead and do the price check we pulled it off somehow some way look at this bank tab full vertus two rings one pet oh my two thousand raw sea turtles i mean we got the world 21 awakener orbs that's gonna be huge let's go ahead and price check all the normal items first including those 21 awakener orbs we have so much runite ore so many gems and runes and a little bit of arrowheads javelin heads 64 dragon plate legs for a grand total of 96 million GP. Just in the potions and the pizza, we made 3 mil. Got about 5 mil in diamonds, 3 mil in rubies, 5 mil in that lovely coal, which we'll never say a bad word about again. And yeah, I mean, just beautiful price check overall. Really great drop table. And remember, the better that you do the kill, the more perfect that the kill is, the better the loot uh, will be. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the rares. This will be the second price check, and it very well may be the big... Well, it's definitely going to be the biggest 281 million gp that 5 mil vertus mask 66 mil for the robe top 35 mil for the robe bottom so that pretty much averaged out and uh, those two rings 140 mil from them overall loot from this video ladies and gentlemen 377 mil but the main goal was the pet the money is just extra as far as i can tell and look at that flipping and flopping i will bring him everywhere and i really do mean that supply cost for this one i don't know 15 mil 360 mil profit now it's time for the clue scrolls which i rarely ever talked about in this video but we have nine easies that we're going to quickly open why are we going to quickly open them because they're easy clues you know they what are they going to give me mole slipper there's nothing from them so yeah not too much there i think we got two collection log spots now we move on to the nine medium clues which i'll take a little bit slower because you know ranger boots and all but uh so far nothing from them and i made sure not to have a master clue in the bank too before i did this opening but yeah still no masters from the easies or the the mediums no ranger boots either so now we're going to go ahead and open up the seven hard clue scrolls that remain and then following that the two elites doesn't get more average than these clue scroll rewards unfortunately but i'm not going to complain about my luck because it has been incredible uh all throughout this grind and with clue scrolls not so much so i'm used to it in other words but not too much from the hard clues and the elites as well 1.2 mil combined from all the clue scrolls so that's just extra icing on top of this very large delicious cake thank you guys so much for watching the video i'll show you guys the rune light loot here all of my drops were accounted for but 60 of my kills weren't due to a power outage so i do apologize for that but you didn't miss anything there uh, i want to say a huge thank you to the youtube channel members for your monthly support it is very much appreciated and uh, helps out quite a bit so special thanks to deception z as well as angel's blood and x exotic x and until next time ladies and gentlemen there's the collection log on screen we have completed it it, as well as the Whisperer. Up next, it's either Leviathan or Vardorvis. But you guys know I'll sprinkle in some extra videos in between. Thank you guys for everything, and until next time, good night. Mr. No Sleep, out.